Hey guys, welcome back for another yoga video. Today we are going to be focusing on ways in order to achieve our splits which are very very important in our yoga practice. Remember, splits are not easy. It takes a lot of practice and patience. So if you're not all the way down today, don't get frustrated and make sure you're going to keep practicing and it's going to get easier day by day. So if you're ready, let's grab a mat and let's do it. Awesome, let's start today in our child's pose. Breathing and lengthening our spine. And when you're ready, let's go to all fours, making sure that your hands are in line with your shoulders and your knees with your hips. Great, let's warm up our back. Big inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. One more time. Big inhale, arch your back and exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, exhale. And one last time, inhale, and really arch your back this time. Beautiful, let's come back to neutral. Tuck your toes under, and downward facing dog, lengthening your spine as much as you can. Chaturanga Dandasana. Big inhale, upper facing dog. And exhale, let's go back to downward facing dog. Trying to get your heels really on the ground this time. Reach your right leg up. And let's really warm up our hip joint here by bending the knee and making big circle with your right leg. That's very important in order to achieve your splits. One last circle and reaching right back up. See if you can get a little bit further this time. Take a giant step with your right leg in between your hands. And when you're ready, high lunge position, reach your hands up in the sky and let your hips sink. Great, hands down on the mat and let's warm up the back of our right leg this time by straightening that knee. Very good. Bend again. Breathe in. Breathe out, straighten and try to touch your knee with your forehead. Great. Breathe in and out. Try to keep your hips as square as possible. Breathe in one more time and big breath out. If you want to feel a better stretch, try to find that flexion of the right foot. Bend your knee one last time and reach up with your hands for your high lunge position and roll your left heel inwards, open your arms and your heart for warrior two. Now you can straighten that right leg, turn your toes inwards and bend again. This is really really gonna open your hips. If you want to feel a deeper stretch you can turn your toes out from your hips and eventually hug your right leg with your hands behind your back. Don't worry if you cannot achieve this pose yet. Just be aware of your body and remember that you are exactly where you need to be. Hands on the ground. And now we can turn our legs in again. And fold forward. You can grab your ankles here and try to touch the mat with your forehead.
Let's come back up, reaching your arms in the sky again and open to warrior two. Let's try to go a little deeper in this position this time and see if it feels different. Swing your left hand towards the right and turn your left heel up in the sky. High lunge position, try to sink a little deeper and drop that left knee. This pose is gonna stretch your hip flexor even more. Hands down on the mat and let's straighten that right leg again. Really touch your knee with the forehead if you can. Breathe in and out stretching the leg. Breathe in, try to sink deeper and breathe out, stretch. Really take your time and make sure to repeat this transition as much as you need to until you feel that your hips are nice and warm. Remember that splits are not easy and they don't come overnight. So make sure you repeat this until you feel ready. Let's stretch one last time. Breathe in, bend your leg. And now if you feel like you're warm enough, you can try to get into your split position by sliding your front foot away from your body and let your hips sink deeper and deeper into the ground. And if you're not all the way down, don't worry. With practice, things are gonna get easier. Just remember to breathe and try to relax in this position. Great, let's come out of it by tucking that back foot and going back into our lunge position, reaching our arms up in the sky, deep breath in and out, hands to the mat, downward facing dog. And let's take a flow here, Chaturanga Dandasana, upper facing dog, inhale, Downward facing dog with a big exhale. You can walk your feet here to get your heels really in the ground a little bit deeper each time. Now if you're ready let's reach up with your left leg, bend your knee and let's make big circles just like what we did with the other side. One last circle and this time reach up as much as you can. Giant step in the middle of your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale, high lounge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Now stretch that front leg Try to reach with your forehead to your knee. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. And exhale, stretch. Try to keep your hips as square as possible here. Inhale. And exhale, stretch. Flex that front foot if you want to feel a deeper stretch. Very nice. Bend your leg. Inhale, high lunge. And turn your right toes out for warrior two. Big breath out, sink deeper into the pose. Inhale, turn your left toes in. Exhale, bend your left leg, hands to the mat. Beautiful, this is gonna really open your hips. You can turn both feet out from your hips if you can to feel a deeper stretch. And eventually you can hug your left leg behind your back. 
hands to the mat. And stretch your legs straight. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, try to reach your forehead to the ground. Inhale, come up, reach your hands up and turn your left toe out for warrior two. Right heel in, inhale, high lunge, knee down and sink in that pose to stretch your hip flexor. Exhale, hands to the mat and stretch your leg. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch, try to reach the forehead to your knee, inhale, bend, exhale, stretch, hips are square, inhale, bend, exhale, stretch and try that flexion of the foot for a deeper stretch, beautiful. Inhale, and now let's slide our front foot away from us and slowly get into our split. If you're not all the way down, don't worry, you're exactly where you need to be. Just listen to your body. Practice is gonna make things easier. Good, let's get out of this pose. Tuck your toes under and high lunge. Inhale, exhale, hands to the ground. Chaturanga Dandasana, upper facing dog, big inhale. And exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Keep breathing, let's take a few breaths here. Roll through your spine, inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, let's get in our child's pose to relax our hips and any tension we may be holding up in the lower back. All fours, let's come to the front of our mat in a butterfly position. This is another great stretch for hips opening. Let your knees sink heavy into the ground and cross your legs. The spine is long, inhale reach up and hands down the middle line of your body with a breath out. Big inhale hands up and let's repeat it one more time. Hands to the chest. And big inhale, one last time. And hands to your heart. Beautiful. You can stay in this position as long as you need to. You did an amazing job today and you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, I will see you next time.